Hello. It's been a while, I know. But, uh, I got some things to say before we start the stream session. And no, not that dream. But anyway, uh, some stuff's going on. But, basically, I'm trying, I'm trying to upload more to all my social medias Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, maybe Facebook? I don't know. But anyway, here I am. And last night's sleep was interesting, so I had. It unlocked a memory for me. For my, so I had I had two dreams, and one of the dreams unlocked the memory. And, went, and so I've had that dream before, but I didn't remember that dream before. But now I do. You know, I dream the same dream sometimes. I don't know what to think right now about what's going on with me. Um. Uh, yes, I. Uh, we did lose ten thousand dollars to trying to buy a house, which I did not recommend trying to buy a house. Uh, but I actually realized, you know, my life's kind of easy, and <clears throat> even though I still don't know how to, you're not like I struggle in school and it's like I mean I've been struggling a lot of talking to with like people, kind of like Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps. Uh, and usually, in these videos too, I don't, I don't really plan stuff, I just, I go for it, I don't, I go for the flow, so it's called, like, I don't plan these, and even if I do, I can't remember what I plan. Anyway, it seems to be all solved, so, I'll talk about my very interesting dream I had. I don't understand it, though, fully, but I'm gonna explain and say what I remember. Last night. This was the second dream, or maybe it was the first dream. I don't know. I don't. Remember. I don't. I had two dreams last night. I don't remember one of them, but the other one I remember really well. And I've had this dream before, but I didn't remember remember this dream before until I woke up and I feel like I opened my third eye. But basically, this is what happened. We were in my old neighborhood, and for those who I'm for those who know me, you know which neighborhood I'm talking about. And this bus came by, and that's also a memory that that confirms with my brain, which is when I was little, there used to be a bus there. Not my school, it was a school bus, but we rode it to go to church. It was a church bus, and I think that's what really stood out to me the the most. But I went on the bus from my house. It was like it parked right in front of my house, and I went on, and I see a bunch of kids I know from <clears throat> different points of my life. I like from different schools because uh, kindergarten and second I went to Riverbend Elementary, then I went third to fifth I went to Sewell Elementary, then sixth to half of seventh grade I went to the Rising School, then half of seventh grade I went to Roseville, and then eighth grade I went to Riverbend Middle, which is like a brand new school that year. And then right now I go to Wake Forest High. <sighs> I'm gonna be a senior soon. It's weird because I've also been thinking I haven't I haven't really grown up. You know, it, it took it took me a while to notice that I haven't really grown up. Like I'm gonna be a senior. <laughs> My fault though. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I haven't really felt like I've grown up. I think it's because of COVID nineteen. Since I've been home a lot, I don't really, I haven't really aged that well out in public. It's probably why I'm getting weaker to talking to people, and I'm still too scared to get a job, even though I like, literally have nothing to do, so I'm gonna need a job. I was in summer school though, and you know, it wasn't bad. Right. Oh, we're getting off topic, we're getting off topic. We're just... So I got on the bus, and I saw all these kids from different points in my life, all my friends, and then we drove off the road, and we kept, and the, the bus was just crazy. People screaming, like throwing things. It was great. Like, oh, it's like a dream come true. A dream, a dream come true when you think of a school bus. And then we get to this, then we just magically teleport to this basketball stadium, which is which looked like from my school. Uh, 
but it's just way actually you know what it's like the stadium from the Mr. Beast dodgeball it's like that on that video basically we were all playing dodgeball and it was like it was like very like 50 like 100 v 100 there was a, a bunch of people just too much chaos and we just started throwing dodgeballs at each other at each other and I just remember I had I dreamt about this before but I never remember it, which is really crazy to me because I never experienced that before. But anyway, we were throwing dodgeballs at each other, but then it turned more video gaming with the dodgeballs, like, turned to fireballs and all that. But basically what happened was, was the weird thing was, there's this one teacher I knew uh, in my fifth grade, and he joined, and basically a bunch of you started joining, and it was just a big collateral. And what happened was, okay, I keep saying that, you know, I don't know, the teacher's like super saying they're too power, too powerful, and I ran into different, we, we, everyone ran to the hallway, even like, everyone just ran away, and this one teacher, he was buffed as like Donkey Kong, and just going, ugh, ugh, and just throwing balls everywhere, and we were just running through different hallways, and the school turned into a maze. It turned to different hallways of my life, of my different schools. Each different school I've been to was into one, with each hallway looking like a memory of that. I was really tra and I traveled through my memories. And then I would see these doors on the side that looked like that one episode of Gravity Falls when, I, when Dipper entered Stan's mind. It was basically like that. And I was running or running. And then all the kids disappeared. And then it, it, I went to this dark hallway. I don't know what it was. We went to a dark hallway, and it was just blackness. And, and I found myself just with these sh shadow figures with big, like, eyes, just like, whew, staring at you. They weren't, they weren't doing anything, but they were vibrating, and they were all, like, grinding your teeth together. And just, I walked down the hallway, very, very scared, and was like, I didn't know what was going on. And then I found myself at the, at the cave again. The same cave with the three doors. If you see my past videos, this stream is very important to me. Where I, and if you haven't seen it, basically I go to the woods with my friend Alondre and my little brother Noah, and we see these three doors, and each door goes to a different place. And it's these three doors again. I keep seeing those three doors. And what happened is, I didn't. I knew the first one was horrible. The second one, I don't remember that one ever. But I never go through it. And the third one, the third one, which is the one I went to. Which is the giant, the giant library. I think it's the third one. I remember going to the third one, but I might have been mixing them up with the last one. But the third one, it was the giant library I was talking about. You go downstairs into a dungeon, it goes to a circular type, and it's this giant library with 1980s computers. Now, this is weird, because I've had this dream a lot, but never the beginning. The, that dream is starting to take over other dreams. It's, it's, it's becoming a very powerful memory. Which is very strange. I, I, I've never heard of that. It's like a memory finding another memory. So, and I, I've said this before in a past video. It's a giant library. You can barely see the ceiling. And those like ladders. It's it's like the Ikea place. The Ikea SCP. Which is really tall. And it's just strange because I actually saw a person there in the library. You're just going to go there. It's like empty, but it's clean. So it's like torches around, so it's like someone must be maintaining it. There's no cobwebs everywhere. But in the other tunnels, there are cobwebs, which I've seen the first one, which I've told you about the first one, so we don't want to go to the first one because that one's scary. But it's clean, but we actually saw, I saw someone there, and it was a wizard. Was, and I assumed that the whole library was about wizards, because that's what I just said, with the 98 computers and whatever. And I always assumed it was a wizard library, but I'd never actually seen a wizard until last night. And I saw a wizard there, and what he was doing was, uh, it was like your typical like Disney or Shrek wizard with like blue the blue like cone hat and like blue robe, and he was reading this big book, which looked like the book from Adventure Time, the Ankai Reading, I think it's called. And he was reading that, and he went down a secret hallway, like the Scooby Doo ones where you put a bookshelf and it just opens a mysterious um, door. He went down there, and the door shut. And I was there, and then, uh, usually my little brother and my friend Alondre, I'm saying, uh, 
you know, we're usually there, but it, it seemed like they were behind me, so I, I just teleported through, like, I didn't know what I was doing, so I opened a door, and usually there's a dungeon, but I didn't go through it, sorry if I didn't say that, I didn't go through the stairwell, and I just, I just boom, blinked, and I was here, and I looked behind me, and all I see, I see them, but they're just frozen in place, and it's really strange, just like them, it's like, like they're walking, but they're just, they just don't move at all. I, I've poked at them, and I don't do anything. And basically, I, I opened the door, the secret door the wizard went through, and I went there, and then I woke up. I'm one of those people who's starting to think that dreams mean something more. Because this dream is very, very precise, and it keeps occurring. I have another memory after that, which is part of the second dream, which is maybe part of the first one, I don't know, but I was on the bus, like I said before, of going to a weird dodgeball stadium. And there's this girl there, and I was, she's like from, she's one of my friends way back, she probably doesn't remember, I don't even remember her. And then we were talking on the bus for some reason, and I woke up then, and that's all I remember. Very strange. I don't know, basically I'm also getting a little weary because I'm starting to remember less of my dreams. It's like I'm like losing them. I'm like losing the ability to remember dreams. So I guess I gotta drink a lot more, drink a lot more milk when I go to sleep. Try to clear my head. Because I love dreams. I'm trying to get these bomb ass dreams. And but that last night's dream was very strong, very weird. I don't know what to think of it. But I love it. You know, I gotta say that. I love it. That's it for this video, I'm gonna say. Comment down your thoughts. Like, do you guys have weird dreams too? If you do, comment it down and tell me. I'll read them. I'm gonna try and get out there more. There's, a ha There's hair, like, right on my leg. Oh, crap. It's in my case, whatever. But I'll see you babies later. Still not, still, mm, still think of a YouTube name. Don't know if I want Wayla19, but everyone always mispronounces it. But maybe I'll be, maybe I'll be that type of guy where my name, you could pronounce it in different ways and it'll still be correct. Which I thought would be a really cool thing. Well, I'll see you babies later. Bye-bye.